Hello, and thank you for tuning in to our weekly mortgage and economics segment. I'm Amanda Liali Sayer with RealEstateSiny.com. This week, the ADP National Employment Report was released for the month of February by the U.S. Census Bureau, as well as the advanced monthly sales for retail and food services for the month of February released by the U.S. Department of Commerce, in addition to the standard weekly reports. After compiling all the information from the aforementioned reports, it is evident that the problems internationally, in tandem with the unemployment rates, have produced less than impressive results. The Dow Jones dwindled this week, opening at about 16,425 March 7th and steadily declining to close out on the 12th at about 16,340. Moreover, the S&P 500 opened on the 7th at about 1,880, encountering a very rocky roller coaster, only to close out the week at about 1,870 on the 12th. The ADP National Employment Report was released for the month of February 2014, revealing unimpressive numbers. 139,000 jobs were added to the private sector this past February. Of those jobs, 59,000 jobs were added to small businesses, 35,000 jobs added to medium-sized businesses, and 44,000 jobs were added to large businesses. When broken down by industry, the two industries receiving the most job additions were professional businesses with 33,000 jobs and trade, transportation, and utilities receiving 31,000 jobs. While seemingly impressive, these large numbers falter in comparison to the number of people who remain unemployed in the United States. Americans' confidence in the economy continues to plummet this week, reaching the lowest index of 2014. The index had been remaining steady since the new year, so the confidence drop to negative 20 came as a bit of a surprise. According to Gallup.com, 37% of Americans feel as if the economy is getting better, while 59% feel as if the economy is getting worse. This decline in confidence can be attributed to the lows in the stock market, continuing disappointing unemployment rates, and the rising international tensions. The Mortgage Bankers Association released their weekly application survey, revealing a decrease of 2.1% in the MCI on a seasonally adjusted basis. On an unadjusted basis, the index decreased 1%. On a seasonally adjusted basis, the purchase index increased 1%, and the refinance share of mortgage activity decreased to 57% of total applications. Additionally, the ARM share of activity remained unchanged at 8%. Mortgage rates had some poor showings this week, with the 30-year fixed rate rising to 4.34%, the 15-year fixed rate to 3.38%, and the 5-year ARM falling slightly to 3.39%. The advanced monthly sales for retail and food services for the month of February in 2014 from the U.S. Department of Commerce was released this week as well. According to said report, the advanced estimates for U.S. retail and food services for February were recorded to be $427.2 billion, an increase of 0.3%. Retail trades rose increasing 0.3% in February, 1.3% above last year. Non-store retailers were up 6.3%, and healthcare and personal care stores went up 5.5% from last year. While the numbers are declining, our main focus should be the United States' international relationships and dealings. Should conditions in Russia continue to be tumultuous, the economy in the United States may continue to take a hit. That's it for this week. Thanks for tuning in, and be sure to follow us on our various social media platforms, with links below in the description. Also, don't forget you can read the full mortgage and economic report on TrendingSINY.com, which is a division of RealEstateSINY.com.